Chapter 1. There are myths about male behavior in relationships that allow them to misbehave too often. In a relationship, your partner's attitude is critical, and in this regard, some men have fallen short. But that's not the worst part. They've created excuses for this bad behavior, which have become almost a go-to for other men just like them. But these excuses are myths, and we will discuss and debunk them in this chapter. There are too many excuses for bad behavior and not even one ounce of effort to change. The first example is that a man will act right for the right woman. This is mainly untrue in every case. It's based on the assumption that bad behavior is a defense mechanism he uses because he feels threatened. A man that will act right will make conscious efforts to do and be better, firstly for himself and then for you. The only logical path to acting and treating your partner right is through intentional change. Another myth is that every man cheats, and a faithful partner is non-existent. Yet, another lie used to excuse bad behavior. Infidelity isn't a character trait we are born with. Nobody is predestined to be unfaithful. If a man loves you, he'll be faithful. There is a culture that modern society has nurtured to the point that we seem to believe it as accurate. The assumption that cheating can exist even if the man loves you is false and harmful. Many women are caught up in unhappy situations because they, too, believe this lie and accept infidelity and disrespect as a part of the relationship. But this shouldn't be the case. A committed relationship should be free of disloyalty. Being faithful is a choice. There is no on or off switch or program to install first. The last is the worst one of them all. The myth that men love confident women. While this would be a good thing, it's untrue. Most men are intimidated by confident women and will do their best to try and wear her down and control her. When a man meets a woman he deems to be confident, it affects his ego, and he sees her as a threat to the ego dynamic. So he spends his time and effort trying to break her and put her under his feet. Once he's done that, he'll be happy. A confident woman will often find herself single or attracting men who only wish to reduce her confidence through gaslighting and calculated subtle insults. This summary will help you learn that you must appreciate yourself first and not let any man blast your self-esteem. Moreover, you will get an explanation behind every sleazy man's excuses and become empowered not to fall for them to keep a man by your side. Did you know? Most women live with abusive and unfaithful partners, but are afraid to leave because of the stigma of separation or the kids they've had with them. Chapter 2. Knowing when to call it quits is very important. Too often in society, women are hesitant to leave relationships that have become or had initially been unsatisfactory. There's a stigma around women leaving their relationships, primarily marriages, because it shows she failed at keeping a man. Society has kept women stuck in situations that bring them harm, or even worse, death. Society has cornered women into a situation with few options regarding how they deserve to be treated in relationships. Knowing when to call it quits and leave is an essential skill that must be learned, mastered, and kept ready. For men who know about the criticism that comes with a woman leaving an abusive relationship, they'd only do worse. The outcome is more abuse, verbal and physical. If you permit maltreatment, you give room to even more severe forms of disrespect, maybe even death. When a man refuses to treat you right as a woman, it's not because he doesn't know any better. He knows no one is checking his behavior, and there are zero consequences on his part. Once you let him do it once, he'll do it again, even if you forgive and excuse him when he hurts you. He will keep hurting you to see just how much you can take. If his goal is to do as much damage as possible, he won't stop until you put an end to it yourself. No one else will help you secure your happiness and safety. Take a bold step today. In situations where there is abuse or maltreatment in a relationship, you must express your displeasure about his behavior. If he continues to act or treat you that way, locate the nearest door and exit. Your happiness is non-negotiable. You must speak up for yourself in situations like this. You cannot afford to stay silent because your happiness is your responsibility. Therefore, a man who will act right for the right woman is false and an unhealthy narrative to continue propagating. Derek Jackson Chapter 3. 
It is tricky to navigate the relationship sex dynamic, but it is not impossible. Sex is an integral part of any relationship, especially in today's world. It's so hyped and overvalued that it is almost treated as a reward or prized commodity. Some people go into relationships just because they need to have sex, while some have sex because they need to feel something. People create false personas, lie and steal just to get themselves a piece of the action. This action thereby cheapens the place of intimacy and emotions that should come with sex in a relationship. Overrating the place of sex in a relationship often leads to desperation for it. This reality has given rise to many theories and tactics to employ when you enter a relationship. Sometimes women have to withhold sex during the talking stage or a relationship to test the guy's intentions. While this might work, some men can be dedicated and this compliance isn't always a good sign. Once he knows you are intentionally withholding sex, he'll just be inspired to wait it out until you give it up. A healthy relationship has healthy and mutual compromise for its growth. Some men will wear the good guy cloak long enough to get the sex and then ghost you. So you need to be wary of the so-called good guy. He is a narcissist that believes you owe him sex just because. A good man will want to get to know you first and properly share himself with you before sex happens mutually. If he has to con his way into your heart to get into your bed, then you need to be wary. If you suspect he's only after the sex, trust your gut and cut ties with him. Sex in a new relationship should come from the point of mutual interest and intention. Never make the mistake of assuming he's a good guy just because he acted friendly on the first date. Commit yourself to intentionally taking note of his behavior, words, and thoughts at other times, not just when you're all nicely dressed for dinner. Chapter 4 There are some mistakes women can avoid making in new relationships that will help in the long run. Women make many common mistakes on the first few dates, often leading to massive problems in the future. This act might be due to many failed relationships in the past or the fear of being alone. Men will prey on this desperation nine times out of ten if you let them. You must never show your desperation when you want to enter a new relationship. Firstly, on the first few dates, don't assume he's a nice guy. If a guy says he is, chances are he isn't. When a guy keeps pushing the idea that he is friendly, be careful. He's trying to convince not just you, but himself. Time will reveal his true character, so stay attentive and you'll spot the changes. Never assume a person's character until you've observed them over a long period. Secondly, never tolerate even a hint of bad behavior. If you permit it, it'll continue. If he's rude to the waiter or the bellboy or valet, best believe he'll do worse to you. The behaviors you overlook are often those that will grow into more sinister actions. Learn to nip any hint of maltreatment in the bud once you notice it. Don't make excuses for bad behavior in relationships. If you notice even a hint, address it swiftly. Lastly, under no circumstance should you go out of your way to explain any of his character flaws. Don't make excuses for him. If he said or did something, don't create justification for it. Chances are he's watching to see what he can do and what he can't. Never forget your crown. Take charge of how you want to be treated. Chapter 5. Marriage Won't Save a Failing Relationship Marriage is a beautiful thing, a wonderful culmination of years or even months of a steady relationship. When it happens, it should be because two people who are in love concluded that they want to spend the rest of their lives together and move forward with the relationship. Marriage should be between two people who have been in a steady and happy relationship. It shouldn't be because of unfortunate circumstances or desperation. You need to enter into marriage with a prominent picture and intention of what you both want to do. But some people are convinced that marriage is a quick fix for failing relationships entering them headfirst and regretting later. Entering a long-term commitment with a terrible partner will not make them change their ways. When a relationship is going sideways, some people's instinct is to lock it down by taking the next big step, getting married. But this will only create a more significant crisis instead of resolving it. You'll hear that if you made the relationship official, it'd make him treat you better, or he'll step up and do better. It's false. 
marriage will only worsen it. A bad relationship will only breed a lousy marriage. Don't get drawn into a bad situation because of desperation. Marriage would give the man a sense of control and assuredness. If he has misbehaved, getting married to him will only solidify his actions. And what's worse is that marriage means you'll be stuck with him for a much longer time. And unlike regular dating, where you can just get up and leave, marriage requires a messy divorce. Chapter 6. Faithfulness is non-negotiable in relationships. With relationships between two parties, trust and loyalty are significant and cannot be ignored. Don't buy into the lie that faithfulness is hard or impossible with men. This is mainly untrue and an excuse used to permit and perpetuate more acts of infidelity. A healthy relationship must be built on loyalty and fidelity. Faithfulness is not impossible. Demand it unapologetically from new and existing partners. When a relationship lacks fidelity, many things can and will go wrong. When a partner cheats, he alienates his partner from her self-esteem, making her question her sense of self-worth. Eventually, this leads her to make poor choices at work and with her life in general. Without faithfulness, there is room for a lot of chaos and hurt from the victim. Without fidelity, there's no trust, and without trust, there's no love. A relationship plagued with unfaithfulness will become loveless, exhausting, and destructive. It is a toxic atmosphere where nothing, especially love, can grow. It is best not to get involved with a chronic cheat or tolerate infidelity when it happens down the line. If, from the onset, you notice that he has some bad behavior that you cannot tolerate, you must speak up to prompt him to change. And if he cannot or does not change, you must not get into a relationship with him. You deserve a partner who takes you seriously and puts your well-being above his excesses. If he cannot curb a bad habit for you, then he's not the one for you. A relationship with no faithfulness is empty of love and will only breed a toxic atmosphere where nothing can grow. When getting into a new relationship or even while already in one, you must ensure that the chief of the pillars you built it on is unflinching faithfulness. Without faithfulness, there will be no love, and without love, there will only be pain and abuse. Don't accept such. Remember, you have a crown to keep steady. Conclusion The dating scene has become a war zone for women. They have to drum up surefire tactics and devise ingenious plans to secure victory. The prize for success is a relationship, but men have to do little or next to nothing, almost like they're the prize and women must somehow chase. This notion means that the man can be or do anything and still find a mate, while women have to jump hurdles and hoops. This occurrence has to stop. Women must rediscover their worth and reclaim their crowns. They must demand the things they want for themselves unashamedly and consistently. They need to have honest, open, and intentional conversations about how they'd like to be treated before and during the relationship. They need accountable partners that will take the initiative to do and be better, and not the ones that will act nonchalantly. To reclaim their crowns, women need to be wary of men that will try to steal their confidence or dampen their self-esteem. Some men disguise themselves as good guys but aren't. The wolves in sheep's clothing. Women need to denounce the notion that unfaithfulness is a privilege for the right woman and demand it from their partners without fail. Remember that marriage isn't a fix for a bad relationship. If the partner doesn't change, a ring won't magically change him. Leave the past in the past is a signal that he doesn't want to hear about painful experiences that shaped the way she moved in relationships. It is a mantra of weak men. Derek Jackson. Try this. If the man you are with makes you question yourself, constantly picks on you and gaslights you, you are dating a narcissist and you need to run now. <laughs>